In previous videos, I've showed you how easy it is to record an Audio Evolution Mobile. You just hit the record button, and you're, you're off and running. But if you hit the record button again, it's going to load up a second track. And if you want to keep all of one instrument on one track, you need to arm that track to tell it explicitly, I want you to record here on this track. Now pay attention very close to where you've got this green marker, because if you've got it over here, you're going to start recording over the other section. It, it won't be destructive, but it's going to make a mess. It's going to put in this extra clip that's going to be on top of your previous clip, and it's just a big mess. So pay attention to where you've got your green marker. And now when I hit record, it's going to start from there. Another interesting feature in Audio Evolution Mobile is available by holding on the timeline and it brings up this menu where we can punch in and punch out. And this brings up some red markers and let me zoom in here to show you these better. Let's say I didn't like that recording I just did and I want to change this to uh, E flat. Now when I hit record, it's going to start where the playhead is, and when it gets to that red marker, I'll be able to record over that. So now we've got a new recording all together, and we can listen to that. If you need a metronome for your playback, there is one provided by tapping on the tempo menu at the top. You can just turn this on and off, and now when you hit uh, record, you're hearing it, so now you can play along to the tempo, which is really helpful sometimes. In all of these examples, I've been using a pretty fancy setup with uh, audio, uh, audio Evolution Mobile attached to um, full audio interface in my studio. So if you're out in the wild and you're you're playing with just your mobile device, then you, you're going to have to take some other things into consideration. You can record off of just the device's mic, but if you're also monitoring through the device's speakers, then you're going to get all kinds of feedback and just a whole mess. In fact, anything that the, the app is making any kind of sound, then it could potentially be recording itself. It's really going to be handy to get yourself a, a pair of headphones or something. I mean, even the, the crappy ear pods or whatever, just any kind of... Uh, headset is going to do you a world of good uh, because you can now separate out the things that you're hearing from the things that are being recorded. On iOS, there are some tools that are helpful to uh, make use of any kind of uh, uh, thing that you plug into this. So if you're using uh, one of the, the cheap uh, ear pods and the, the, the mic, you might find that it's either too hot where it's, it's too loud and it's, it's sounding all distorted and glitchy or it's too quiet and you need to, to raise it. So the, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, if it's too quiet, you can play around with this and see if that helps. If that doesn't help, you can hit the more options, bring up the preferences, and in input gain, you can crank this way up. And if it's distorted any more so than the mic typically sounds, then you could try lowering it, and uh, that way you're not clipping the input there. Um, and it'll help you get as as good quality recording you can with whatever you have available to you while you're out running around. Another really cool feature inside Audio Evolution Mobile is uh, software monitoring. So right now, if I hit a key, we're seeing the VU meter moving. So this track is definitely getting audio and it'll record that audio, but we're not hearing it. And if we want to hear it, like let's say, if you've got a guitar, you're, you're hearing the guitar, but I've got this Prophet 12 hooked up to this. I'm not hearing that because it's not producing any sounds out into the environment. So for me in, to actually, you know, listen to what I'm doing before I'm recording, I can turn on software monitoring. And now uh, you might need to arm and rearm the track. We should hear it. And we do. So <laughs> uh, this is super handy also if you want to play with effects while you're uh, recording. So uh, in this instance, I could just add a delay and now get this cool delay happening uh, while I'm playing around inside of the app. And the app is going to actually record the dry signal without any of the effects. So I can come back later and change that delay effect if I want to without ruining the recording.